First alert, Storm Center updates. And Tropical Storm Philippe is still out in the Atlantic. It is beginning to approach the uh, Caribbean islands there. And uh, on that forecast track, uh, Puerto Rico there now is expected to push right over Puerto Rico instead of to the north. So a slight southward shift in that track. But it will be a remnant low by the time it makes its way there. So still stormy conditions expected. Uh, but luckily not a powerful system as that will be below Tropical Storm status by the time it makes it there. Meanwhile, Invest 91L, this is Philippe right here. But back just off to the south and east. Uh, we do have Invest 91L still sitting at that high probability of development. Uh, so maybe later tonight or by tomorrow we could see this uh, be designated a tropical depression or possibly going straight to tropical storm status. Uh, that is like expected to become Rena at some point and most of those models actually do bring it up to hurricane status in the long term but they also keep it out at sea and not affecting land. So good news there. After that we'll have four names left on the list. Sean, Tammy, Vince and Whitney. Winds out of a uh, east northeasterly direction today. We do have just some spotty showers that have popped up, mainly in response to our just afternoon daytime heating. We still do have troughing in place, but ridging starting to build in here beginning on Friday. So tomorrow we'll have uh, still a chance for a stray shower or two, but after that, really rain chance is shutting off through the weekend and into early next week as this ridge will be stretching over a huge part of the area. A huge part of the country, in fact, and that will lead to decreasing rain chances. We'll also have some drier air filtering in. So really a nice forecast ahead, but not seeing much of a sign of rain, unfortunately, here uh, really anywhere in the forecast. For tonight, upper 60s to around 70 degrees here in the metro area. So still fairly mild and muggy. Highs tomorrow into the low to mid 90s, around 95 here in the metro area, 94 over in Leesville. And pretty warm overall. 86 is that average high. The record for tomorrow is 100 degrees. Uh, so certainly running pretty warm here across the local area. Dew points uh, again will be fall lake once we get into the weekend as that drier air filters in here really low relative humidity and that could cause some fire weather concerns here as we head into the weekend. But as far as comfort concerns, things will be feeling pretty comfortable here for the weekend. But looking ahead to about the first week to week and a half of October, it looks like we're going to continue with uh, leaning warmer than average on those temperatures. So some of the models occasionally want to bring a cold front in here. We'll start seeing that in the models for a day or two. And then at this point, most of those cold fronts or all of those cold fronts have kind of disappeared from the models. So they kind of show up periodically, but still leading above average overall with really no real sign of any cold front here. Uh, and then as we head into October, so we'll see last year we did drop into the 30s by later October, so it'll happen sooner or later. Look at our future cast for tonight. We're looking at partly cloudy skies heading into the overnight hours tomorrow. Uh, another nice day, mostly sunny to partly cloudy. Some high clouds out there, not much of a chance for rain. We'll be around 89 or so by lunchtime by 5 o'clock. Low 90s, winds out of the northeast tomorrow at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And check out that forecast. Very quiet. Uh, we don't have a forecast like this too often. Uh, with sunshine here just about every day over the next seven days. Temperatures in the low to mid 90s. So some pretty pretty uh, warm all the way into the first few days of October. A little cooler in the mornings, though, as we head into the weekend and early next week. But, you know, we do need the rain, but I'm not complaining.